Hey everybody, today we go through the next event in Pokemon Go, the Seizable Size event. Get ready to encounter more XXS and XXL Pokemon with the Seizable Size event. Plus, Shiny Wind Pod debuts and take part in the raids for Kartana and Celestila, which can be shiny for the first time. The event runs from April 4 at 10 am to April 9 at 8 pm. The bonus for the event will be 2 time XP for successfully catching Pokemon with nice throws or better, increased chance to encounter XXS and XXL Pokemon in the wild, increased chance to encounter Shiny Whaleborn, and if you are like me who don't have this Shiny, now is the time to get one of those. Shiny Windpod, Shiny Celestila, and Shiny Kartana will make their debut in Pokemon Go. For wild encounters, here's the breakdown of some Pokemon you can expect to find. A common Pokemon, Diglett, Mantine and Wilmer, less common Pokemon, Citadel, Joltik, Tynemu, Wingpod, Cutifly, and rare, if you are lucky, Onyx and Snorlax. Moving on, field research. Complete field research tasks to encounter Onyx, Snorlax, Wilmer, Tynemu, Wingpod, and Cutifly. Now for the raids. On one star raid, we got Fungus. Clink, Esper, and Tadbulb. On 3 star raids, Alolan Executor, Galarian Wizzing, Gyarados, and Snorlax. On 5 star raids, we have Kartana on Northern Hemisphere and Celestila on the Southern Hemisphere. And on Mega Raids, we got Mega Charizard X. There will be a collection challenge, and if you complete the collection challenge, you will receive raspberries. Pineapple Berries, XPs, Encounters with Wingpod, and Encounters with Wilmer. Moving on, tips and tricks. Starting with how you can get a lot of XP. So, you will get 2 times XP for nice throws or better, with an excellent throw giving 1000 XP. Now, it's the time for use a Lucky Egg. Because, with a Lucky Egg, each excellent throw is a 4000 XP. You can get more candy from the event by using a berry or using a Mega Evolves Pokemon of the same type that the Pokemon that you are catching to get more candy or candy XL. Since the majority of the spawns are electric bug or water, I would recommend her to primary reverse by Kyogre because he boosts those types of Pokemon. If you don't have a primary Kyogre, you can Mega Evolve an electric bug or water type Pokemon. With that being said, let's see which Pokemon you should focus on. Besides of not having any relevance, Wilmer is a shiny boosted and needs 400 candy to evolve, so you should be focusing on that. Wingpot, being a shiny debut, has more than reasons to be focused on. Besides its evolution, Golizopod, it's a good pick on Master League and Ultra League. Citadel, who evolves into Satan, it's a good butcher Iced attacker. Onyx, has a permanent boost shiny odds of 1 in 64 and a Mega Evolution. Now, let's see which Pokemon are worth raiding. On tier 1 raid, only Fungus, Kling and Expur are worth raiding only because they can be shinies. On tier 3 raids, Alolan Executor, just for the permanent boost shiny odds of 1 in 64. Galarian Wizzing, just because can be good in some great leagues and can be shiny. Gyarados, because he's good in any PvP leagues, has a good Mega Evolution and it's a budget water and dark attacker. Snorlax can be shiny and it's good just for PvP. Moving on Mega Raids, you should ma raid Mega Charizard X for its Mega Energy since Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y are a budget and a good Mega PvE Pokemon. And for a 5 star raids, Kartana is one of the best grass attackers and being a grass and steel make it super weak to fire, therefore easy to ride and gets its shiny form. Celestila requires 2 or 3 players to be done and it's only worth raiding because of its shiny form. That's all for the sizable surprise event. Remember, it runs from April 4 to April 9. Get out there, catch some amazing Pokemon and maybe even snag a shiny or two. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Pokemon Go content.